Let's do this thing, Michael. See if this works. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of, I think it's session 20 of the Little Wolf Knits podcast. I'm Brianna, and I will be your host today. I am down the shore, and I forgot my tripod, so I have a very interesting setup. I'm basically balancing my phone on a tote bag and like all the stuff inside of it. So we'll see how long this works. Um, I know it has been a minute. My puppy's scratching to get in. Come here, Malka. It's gone. It's been a minute since I have last seen you all and so I wanted to pop in and show you what I've been working on. I don't even have all of the things that I finished. Some of them were gifts and I've given them away. But I want to start wearing things, so I figured I needed to hop on here and show you. I'm going to make it a quick one. Oh, the table shaking. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it a quick one today because it is the Friday of 4th of July weekend. Um, we are down shore. It's kind of rainy out, but we're going to be hanging out today. So let's see, let's see how long we could, we could do this one. Um, like I said, my name is Brianna and I am the one woman show behind the Little Wolf Knits. Um, designs, yarn, candles, charms, all the things that you can imagine. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Little Wolf Knits, on YouTube, here, you found me, um, on Ravelry, the Little Wolf Knits Designs is my shop. And my website where I'm going, where I sell most of the things that I'll show you today is littlewolfknits.myshopify.com. Um, admin things. There are a few really cool things in the shop. Um, my Gilmore Girls yarn and charm just went up for this month. It's Emily Gilmore inspired Vicious Trollop. So that's available next week. The next stop on our From the Open Road Road Trip yarn will be available with the Die With Me video. I believe it is Yellowstone National Park. I might break it up into a few different, do some geysers, do some other photos I have from Yellowstone that I really like. Um, Schitt's Creek, Ew David is still available in the shop. And I am currently running um, listings for my October countdown. It's Dia de los Muertos inspired. So we're going to be counting down all of October and opening on November 1st to celebrate. It is going to be Coco inspired. I'm super, super excited. And I think I'm going to be picking inspiration photos for that this weekend. So keep an eye on my Instagram to see the photos on that and definitely head over to my shop where you can buy a 31 day, a 16 day, or a single day box with a few gifts from me. I'm super excited about. Um, coming soon, maybe before the next time I podcast, um, my December countdown boxes will be in the shop. They're gonna be Schitt's Creek theme. I'm so excited. I decided to go with season one of Schitt's Creek and it's going to be a chronological thing. I'm assuming this will be over the span of several years. And so this year is going to be season one. Super, super excited about it. So keep an eye on Instagram and the shop for that. Otherwise, let's jump in. I have a few finished objects. Um, like I said, I don't have everything here that I finished because I've given some of them away. Um, and one thing that I'm working on, one thing that's coming down the pipe. First thing. First finished object. Can you see? what I'm wearing. It is my second sample of the Twisted T-shirt, which is a design by me. It is a pattern in testing that will be released, I believe, July 16th, maybe 19th. Um, it is a basic top-down raglan, two colors with this really cool detail that runs all the way down the side. It is my favorite part. It has twisted rib, um, and that's part of the seam detail. It is a crop top. You could add length if you want. It is fingering weight, so these colors are low tide, the tonal, and Chicago, which was February's from the Open Road colorway. I love this colorway. This is going to be a kit. 
in the shop. Um, this is on my sunfish base and I knit this with a US 5 for the body and a US 3. So what is that? 3.25 and 3.75 um, for the ribbing and the body respectively. I love this. I made this one a little bit shorter than my first sample and I'm obsessed with it. I want to take pictures this weekend so then I can just wear it non-stop. Um, I, I'm just so obsessed with it. And like I said, this is going to be a kit in the shop. There are going to be a few other kits. I should actually list them this weekend, so keep an eye out for those. Um, and they'll be available before the release. It's not all to say about this. Yes, for now. And um, I usually go chronologically, but let's do something that makes sense to go next. Yes. Yes, friends, it would help if I held them forward the right direction. These are the Twisted Tee Shorts, and they are a matching pair of shorts to go along with the Twisted Tee Shirt. So exciting. So this is a double uh, br brim? waistband, <laughs> uh, this Twisted Rib Detail I-Cord band, this stitch detail, similar to the body of the sweater, these shorts have this seam de detail running down the side. So much fun. Um, then we have a twisted rib cuff at the bottom and it splits for a little V. And I'm obsessed with these. This uses the same, this is a US 5 for the body and this main color is Surf on my Sunfish base. And then this contrasting color is Beach House on my Sunfish base. And I use a US 4, I think, for the ribbing on these. Um, and then the bottom ribbing, I stayed with the 5 to keep it nice and loose. And I am obsessed with these. I actually use leftovers from my Palm Your Knits, which is a top by Chelsea of Knitting Tipsy. And so this will be the perfect match to that top. And then obviously my Twisted Tee shirt. Um, it matches my first Twisted Tee really, really well. This one, not so much, but my first one is Acai and love that journey for me and it matches so well. So this is a pattern I'm gonna be coming out with um, in August, mid, late August, um, and the testing call is actually open right now. From when you see this, it will be open through the beginning of next week. If you go to Instagram and follow the link in my bio, you can apply to be a tester through that means. I'm so excited, so excited. Now that I've shown you these, I need to take pictures of these this week, and then I'm never, ever going to take these off. Like, ever. So, so, so exciting. So that's my second FO. I had a third FO, which was my Namibia shawl using the Creek Garden Crafts cotton yarn that I made for Michael's mom. I have since gifted it to her and forgot to take pictures. So I'll have her send me pictures one day and y'all can see it at a later point. F.O. number four are my Valentine's Day socks for Michael. Sorry, Michael. Yeah, yeah. So um, I told Michael for Valentine's Day that I would make him socks. And then I got really busy. And I cast these on in June, right? No, in June? In it wasn't February. It wasn't February. It might have been May or June. Um, but I finished these finally. So these are a pair of socks for Michael. This main color is my Parcel Tongue on Sunfish. And then this is Serious Black on Sunfish. And this is my pattern. I fixed the peach sauce pattern. It has a really, really cool heel flap detail. 
So simple. Basically vanilla socks, but they have some magic in them. Kind of like self-striping because each of these repeats is so short it just like boom 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 okay i'll just do one more one more one more and then they're done um michael is a 10 and a half or 11 men's foot so i don't remember how many inches i knit these two um but like i said this is my sunfish base i use a us1 which is a 2.25 chiagu red lace fixed circular for all of my socks these were 72 stitch. He goes back and forth between a uh, 72 and a 64. I think 72 fits a little better. Just like some tighter. So that is my final FO. They're so cute. Ah, they're so large. <laughs> um, and I'm super excited about those. My one and only whip. My one and only whip that I have on my needles right now is a very, very exciting thing. This is in my Belcher family bag by Mrs. Brown's Bags. Um, I don't know, it's like a medium drawstring. Belcher family, doesn't it look like that? It's all of their colors. Michael, turn around because we watch Bob's Burgers. What? I know, pretty cool, right? Yeah. It has all of their colors. Look, Louise. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Um, so in this bag, I have my project. And this is using my Shoshone National Forest colorway. There you go, sorry, this light is not so great for this podcast. Um, and this is on my laser base, which is a fingering weight single ply. See how crinkly it is? Do you know why it's crinkly? Let me tell you why it's crinkly. It's crinkly because I already knit this project. I knit about, I knit a little bit past where I am now in the wrong size for myself. What was I doing? Well, I knew I wanted the top to have a few inches of ease. My chest is a 33 and a half. <clears throat> so a lot of tops I make a 36. And for some reason, I was like, oh, well, my chest is a 36, so let me add some ease. So I made a size 40 for a 40 bust, um, which is actually a 38, because I was doing, I was wrong. Um, and, I was like, this is so big. And I was like, wait a minute. This is like seven inches of positive ease, which I don't need. Um, it was really cute, to be honest, but for designing a pattern, I want to make sure I'm making it the right size so I know what the pattern's going to look like. So I ended up on, I think it was Monday, right, Michael? Yeah, I think so. Monday. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to frog it. It only took me four days to get to this point. I'm going to be doing a smaller size. It will fly by. So, we have a design, and I'm pretty sure I haven't checked on Ravelry. My friend is here. Can you grab that, Michael? I'm pretty sure I haven't checked on Ravelry, but I think this is going to be called the Tan Line Tank. So, it's a design I'm working on. It is a racerback tank, and the back has this really cool cutout. So that when you put it on, it has like a peekaboo back. <gasps> Join the podcast. <laughs> Guys, this is my friend. She's my maker friend. You've never seen her is before. It it's video. Look at my awesome. very, very professional setup. Um, wow. Because. Ooh, look at those songs. I forgot my tripod. Aren't they cute? They're Michaels. Um, so, this is my friend. Come sit, introduce yourself. Hi. Hello, my Tell name is Tell the people Jillian. who you are. And where can I find you? At olive.end.emma. Wait, are there periods? I think so, right? I don't know. I should know that. <laughs> Your earrings. Yes, they're Etsy. Do you know where they're <laughs> from? Tell the people. Show the people. Where are my earrings from? I need to look it up. They're beautiful. Everyone knows just from Instagram. <laughs> Baby Honey Designs. 
Oh, not the best with my hair. No, and there's so much light over here. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. They make me think of David Bowie. They do look like David Bowie. Oh my god, we were watching, last night we were watching uh, Wheel of Fortune. Came on like after Jeopardy while we were eating. What was that? The clue was Is like, it was, song by Queen. It was like Under Pressure by Queen and David Bowie. D-A blank I D <laughs> blank O blank I E. And the person guessed David Louie? Yeah. David. We were like, who is David Louie? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. Whenever anybody said anything about David Bowie, it said David Louie. It was that David bad. Louis? Yeah, these remind me of David Louie. Yeah, they do remind me of David Louie. They're wonderful. How's everyone doing here today? So, for filming a podcast. Oh, uh, we're filming a podcast. That worked out with a better I don't mm-hmm. know, I was just thinking of going to a run in like an hour or two. Yeah. Alex just went to his friend's house. They have like a gym and they go to Amherst. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, you went there too? No. Or, oh. No, I don't know that's aggressive. Do okay, guys, lock us up. It looks like you're a thing. Okay, so I'll finish telling you about this and then we're going to see what Jillian has. This is literally just as bad What as she are. brought us. Um, <laughs> okay, so tan line tank, it's a racer back and it has this cutout. So when you put it on, it'll have like a little peekaboo here. But the cool thing about this, no, I don't think so. Uh, the cool thing about this is the construction. So the way it's worked, you start, there's no seaming in this entire thing because I hate seaming. So you start across this back, decrease, work up for the racer back, over. Isn't it cute? It kind of has like a camo vibe. I really like it though. So you work over the, the, you work the tops of the fronts here and then you join. Work flat and pick up this original piece that we started with and then cast on stitches for the back and work in the round. So no seaming. I'm super excited about it. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it. Um, right now this cast on edge is rolling a lot. So I'm going to try to block it and see if it flattens by itself. And if so, then I'm going, I know I'm going to do a shawl bind off for the bottom. If it doesn't flatten and it still rolls and I have to do an I-cord, then I'll finish the bottom with an I-cord. So I'm going to figure this out and block it before I get to the bottom. But I, if I could finish this, I did this much. I did two inches yesterday. So if we're going to be knitting for a while today, I can get a lot done. Um, and I have my little mm-hmm. progress keeper, my David inspired. I'm trying really hard not to connect with people right now. I think there are still a few of these left in the shop. If you're interested and want to grab one, do you watch Shit's Creek? Hell yeah. Isn't I was actually cute? just watching it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's hysterical. Do you make these? Yeah. I'll, ha- I'll bring you on. They're, They're so, so cute. Um, so that is, yeah, and that's what's going on in this design. In my Belcher family bag, I have a Tuft Woolen's lemon tart bar in here. It smells so good. It smells. Mmm. Is that like making right? stuff smell? Yeah. Smells good. good. Um, and I have one more thing in here that I didn't start yet, but I might start. But <laughs> tell us what you're right. working on here. This is the crop top. Lady. What I always make. This is the, the boob too. Did you just join that today? Yes. I was like, when you posted that before, <laughs> it was separate squares. <laughs> the tube. So what's it going to look like? It's going to look like... I did. It's gonna have little straps and then like a little peplum. Like this guy. <gasps> okay, show them that. That's this beautiful. Is the and so this. <laughs> so you don't work from a pattern? No. I literally just make everything up and everyone's always like, you should write a pattern. I'm like, okay, I don't know how. Okay. We'll work on it. So, careful. So, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to get Jill to write these patterns. Yeah, I know. Because. I this one's so easy, too. You're like going to have. This, I started this yesterday. You're going to have <laughs> many 
makers watching this, because this is granny squares. Yeah. So like, it's I'm squares. not a crocheter, but I can do granny squares. Yeah. I can. Can you knit a granny square? Or no? No, it's easier to. Yeah, crochet. To crochet. I don't know anything about knitting. So we're gonna get Jill to write these patterns. I just worked out. I don't need that. Cheers. Um, what yarn is it? Hobby Rainbow. Oh, uh, this is I use this all the time. Okay. I love this stuff. I never. So where I do have, you buy this? I order from their website. Okay. I think they're out of either Germany or Denmark. Somewhere I've like never that. used them before. I love their stuff. But a lot of people... And it's so cheap. These are like a dollar twenty something. Okay. Is this the... Oh, my phone's so down. So I make all my time seven. Is this stuff what Laura... Like a lot of people do like sp get sponsorships. Sponsor me. <laughs> Please. Get that coin. If you're listening, please send us things. I'm going to text Chelsea. Go and see because I think she did a giveaway with them. Yeah, I love their stuff. Cotton, 100% cotton. It's really soft. Right? I usually, it's cotton's nice. hit or miss for me. This is soft. Mm -hmm. Cool. So this will be done like basically today. Oh yeah, I'll finish this today and then I'm going to take a nap. That <laughs> yeah, sounds wonderful. And so, Plans. you sell these, right? Yeah. Is this for sale or is this for you? I don't know. We'll see. I always just like make things and then I decide like do I want it or do I sell it? Where do you sell them in case anyone is I will sell them on my Etsy. Where's your you have to tell the oh people God, where's I your Etsy what's your that. Etsy? I need to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like all of an Emma, but there's sometimes like periods or things. Yeah. So follow her on Instagram um, because it's the birds were the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Bird watching goes both ways. <laughs> okay, we're back. Our camera stopped recording, but luckily I don't think it was that long. So we're talking about where you sell these. So they're on Etsy. Etsy. Insta. You can slide my Insta DMs if you want to custom. Slide in the DMs. <laughs> Etsy shop is Olive and Emma shop. shop. But go follow her on Instagram because that's where you need to be. Do you have it linked in from your Instagram? I'm assuming mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Do you sell them in person? Doesn't. Where's. Where? Do you sell them in oh, person? Yeah. Where's that. Wanderlust where's that place? In Seagirt. Seagirt? Seagirt. In New Jersey? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. So if you're local, if you're in New Jersey, go, go to, to Seagirt. In Seagirt. Are they like a super hippie shop? The girl who posts is, seems really Yeah, cool. they have like free people, Bill yeah. Bong, O'Neill, like all of them. Like, yeah. Super surf for Bellhouse stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute, Very cute, cute. Cool. Yeah. Exciting. So you're working on this? Is this the only thing you're working on right now? Yeah, I have like a ton of projects I need to start, but. I'm working on my mental health. <laughs> Sophia. I'm working on my food baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate a lot of things. <laughs> Sophia will not Our do favorite. the things. Um, I do have one thing I haven't started I'm yet, but I'm going to. Going Oh, and oh, this is true. my prongs colorway. There's, um, there's rolls too in the bag by the mouthwash. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true to color. This is basically um, like the color of stitching on like dark jeans. So right? And this is not good. Would you say that? Um, that's an accurate. It's a little dark I don't know. on this base. I haven't bought dark jeans in a really long time. I think it is. Uh, and this is going to be a second tank top. A different tank top, but a second one that I'm super excited about. I actually wanted to ask you guys, I have a lot of tank tops and I have a short design. Yes, you should make one for me. That I'm so. working on. But I realize now, if they go into testing, like, now, they won't be ready until the end of August, beginning of September. Is that too late? Do we want to hold off on the tank tops until next spring? Well, here's the thing. I always wear tank tops. I know. Yeah, like too. A long so me under. too. I'm so not like a seasonal. Literally, under all, under all of my I just put clothing. like tights and a turtleneck. I'm the same. I always over. put. I literally put a turtleneck under yeah. mm -hmm. any tank top crop top, like and then it's set. And crop tops with a turtleneck under. So let me know if you're like us. 
then I'll keep working on them. Otherwise, I'll switch to some of my winter designs and I guess pull these out in the spring so that they're ready for next summer. Because the other thing I have, oh, this one is like the sweet blueberry lemonade. Oh, I smell it. I was like, do I have COVID? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Pfizer. <laughs> we're, we're vaxxed here, people. You're the Pfizer bitches. How people uh, get Pfizer. Pfizer. You know what? I'm just a girl out You're here living my best life. Hey. I'm just a JJ. It's fine. <laughs> Any vaccine is better than no vaccine. TBH. Um, this is caked up and ready to go for a pair of shorts. What are you doing? Double caked up on a Thursday? Double caked up on a Thursday afternoon. Can I curse? Yeah. Hella ass. The sun is still out. <laughs> Can I curse? Yes. I don't think hella is. No, no. I was going to say, clearly Jill has never seen my videos where I'm like, fuck this, fuck that. Um, Double caked up on a Thursday afternoon. Guys, hella look. ass. Can we appreciate this yarn for a second? This is a new colorway. Ooh. Which one is that? Grand Tee. She in. thick. I do like she that. She thick. <laughs> um, and it's my From the Open Road colorway, and I stole mm -hmm. that skein because I accidentally cut it. Well, I was okay, rinsing so it. Just kidding. It was it was <laughs> an actual accident. I cut it. I got it snagged on something in a rip. So I was like, guess I'm keeping this skein. <laughs> um, but that's a colorway. It's in the shop, I think, for a little bit more, and then I'll take it down. And I'm going to pair it with army pants and flip flops. Guys, there's so many painkillers in my body right now. <laughs> For drugs. <laughs> For contrast. I don't know if I'm all. Guys, my sister is <laughs> not. Excision is not on drugs. Sleep. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. But I have fucking migraines all week. Migraine okay. All week. So talk me through these shorts. Here's my idea, people. You know, like the sporty sort of shorts, the like rain. Like the Nike. Like the nylon, like whatever that's called. Yeah, like the like scratchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But <coughs> I want to do them. So it's going to match the, the tan line tank. So it has like a slip, a slip stitch down. So it kind of looks like a faux seam down the sides. So the shorts, I want them to be like looser and have seams in the front and the back. Mm -hmm. And then I think like a... Like a trim? Not a scalloped edge, Just like but the, like a, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like this? Like a dolphin, yeah. the, what do they call it, a dolphin hen? A dolphin hen? They make that out or they make that out? But, I so, when it like goes up on the side. Yeah, 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 like up on the side, yeah. exactly, I've never heard I'm that sure before. But, I want to, and tell me if this is a dumb idea, tell me if this is a dumb idea, the top, instead of like, these shorts that are just a fold over double brim with an eye cord. It's a dolphin head. Is it? Like that's that? Yeah, yeah. Like... yeah, that's. Wow, you get a raise. See, okay, these are my inspiration, but they don't. I like the ones like this. They don't have a drawstring, yeah, right? Yeah. So I want to do a fold over <clears throat> waist. Ooh, like old like school Sophie yoga pants. shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sophie shorts are bad. <laughs> so are they? they are. Guys, yeah, oh my god, like yeah, no, Gen Z like discovered. They're Did, like, were you, look at these were shorts. Were you a two-roll or? Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. I was either a two or a three. At sailing, I was a two. It depends. You have to be if more I was than wearing one. You can't have yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. If I was if I was wearing them for actual sports, we'd get yelled at if we used to. Double cheeked up. Double cheeked up. If you don't know what we're talking about, you're too Tell young. Us. You're too young for Tell us. Yes, the song is still shouted. <laughs> we need to find that video. So I'm thinking, wouldn't that be cute? I'm yeah. thinking that's what I'm going to try and do. It'd be really cute if you made me a pair. My long term goal is I'm going to make a pair of joggers and then I'm going to make a pair of yoga pants. Like knit yoga pants, like long flare bottom. You heard it here, fam. We'll see if we can make it happen. Raining. Not now, but like in general. Oh, and this is in my Shit's Creek bag from Lila Styles Me. And that was my sunfish base. Lilith, what are you gonna be? Fucking hilarious. Oh, what is that? 
I don't know. I feel like I was on like Vine or something. Yeah, it was like that Tristan, little clip. There's yeah. Tristan Thompson in like really tight jeans. TT. <laughs> I don't know anything. Brianna's so not involved in like. You know that though, TikTok. right? No. no. You've never you heard that nothing. quote? No. Um, I don't know anything. I think it was like on Vine. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know how to pick that. You know what else me and Mike will say all the time? If Brianna's like so lost. Don't say, it don't say it here. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Wait, I want to hear it. After this. Oh. She doesn't, okay. um, she doesn't sure. edit her video. It's a little inappropriate. Okay. Yeah, this isn't getting edited. Is there anything else you're about to cast on that you want to tell the people? What do you call it? It's not casting on and crochet, right? It's like starting. <laughs> I know nothing. I just. <laughs> you like. We out here. Put it on the. Huh? I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna attempt to make. Because this. you don't cast on because it's not. Y yeah. You well, you sent me this, cheap. right? Yeah. I'm gonna, I, oh I my bought God. the yarn to make this today for Lana. <gasps> oh well, my God. We're I gonna see, see how it comes out. I don't I might, if, if it works out, I, fuck it, I want one. It's literally just I like said, a I saw yard that. explosion. Tell me you can't see that on Lana. I oh, saw yeah. that and I sent it to Jill immediately and I was like, you have to make this. I top. bought it for you her today. She's like, are you making me that top? It's, it's like, beautiful. Yeah, I will. Right? It's good. That girl makes amazing things. Like, so, like how does, does your brain pattern? conceptualize that? <laughs> <Don't look laughs> I thought you were She's on. Old. <laughs> I thought you were on Instagram. I heard that to my sister this morning. <laughs> Yeah, the Texas Roadhouse sounds good. <laughs> I'm not going there, but... Okay, I'm really hungry. I think we should go and get lunch. Wait, are you leaving for lunch? I'm just going to go pick it up. Oh, okay, cool. And by we, you might go. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. Okay, everyone, so have a good weekend if you have a long weekend. Bye. Stay safe. Stay double cheeked up. Stay double cheeked up. Double cheeked up. up. Sun sun is still out. Out. The sun is not out. <laughs> uh, until next time. Bye, guys.